This is me in a porn video, but it's completely fake. This is just someone's fancy about basically having sex with me. We've been investigating deep fake porn, an abusive industry that's growing rapidly with the help of artificial intelligence. If you didn't know this wasn't me, you'd, you'd think it was real. A world of digitally altered videos and images that can be made using just one photo of someone's face. We've found millions of fake videos and images of hundreds of thousands of women. We have literally been to hell and back. And that's how we discovered this video of me. OK, this is pretty disgusting now. We reveal how deep fake creators are getting away with it and if anything is being done to stop them. It's just absolutely sickening. Earlier this year, AI explicit photos of Taylor Swift were viewed at least 45 million times on X before they were taken down. Facebook and Instagram reportedly ran ads that showed blurred deepfake sexual images of the American actress Jenna Ortega when she was just 16. Meta has since removed them. And just this week, it emerged that the Italian Prime Minister, Giorgia Maloney, is seeking €100,000 in damages over deepfake porn videos of her. We've identified the five most popular deepfake porn sites, hosting manipulated images and videos of celebrities. These sites alone got almost 100 million views over three months. There are videos and images of around 4,000 people in the public eye. We've identified that at least 250 of them are British. This technology is so easily accessible. It's become so commonplace and so normalised that we don't even consider whether the person is actually consenting to this. And that is incredibly dangerous. It's been around since 2017, but independent research shared with Channel 4 News shows that more deepfake porn videos were created in 2023 than all other years combined it's become an increasingly common way to watch porn. On the top sites alone, videos have been viewed more than 4.2 billion times. To put that into context, it's almost three times the number of people who watched the last Football World Cup final. But it's not only celebrities affected. The most targeted women are private individuals, and it's now done mainly using apps. Latest research shows the number of so-called undressing and nudifying apps is soaring, falsifying thousands of images of women each day. All it takes is one photo from social media. Take us back to the moment that you first saw those images and what you felt. Sick. <laughs> um, I actually was sick in the toilet in the gym. Um, panic, real sort of like blind panic. Disbelief. Um, didn't didn't even know didn't even know it had a name at that point um, didn't know it was called deep fake pornography or anything like that it was just these images that suddenly existed um, and yet yeah, panic how many people had seen them um, how many people had shared them would people find them had they been put onto any other um, more well-known porn sites I suppose has always like sort of gone through my mind. Sophie Parrish is a 31-year-old florist and mum of two who lives on Merseyside. Just over a year ago, she discovered deepfake nude images of her online. Someone close to her family had taken photos from Facebook and Instagram and uploaded them to a website where men share deepfake nudes, post degrading comments and pictures of them masturbating over the photos. So this is an image um, that someone has uploaded so it's my head, um, but I have been um, digitally manipulated onto a naked um, woman's body. Obviously, it's only the top half of the body. And how did that make you feel? I mean, it's absolutely disgusting, isn't it? Dirty. Um, yeah, very dirty. And obviously, I hadn't done anything, but it does, it, it, it does look like you at the end of the day. It's like women don't have, women are like worthless, we don't mean anything, we're just a, a piece of meat, so men can do what they like. Latest research shows there are now around 200 apps where anyone can upload an image and instantly create a fake nude. Most of the apps were created last year. 
AI technology has advanced at such a rapid rate that it's cheap and easy for apps to make these images on a huge scale. In 2023, 600,000 deepfake images of women and children, private individuals, were uploaded to 10 public websites. Although they're fabricated, the impact is very real. I trusted everybody before this. My wall was always down, but now I don't trust anybody. It's heartbreaking. It's, it's horrible. Hear. I look at everyone now and I think, oh, what are they doing? And why are they looking at me? I'd very much like gone sort of like inwards, if that makes sense. Um, I wasn't doing my hair and makeup every day. I was kind of trying, I suppose for me, I was trying to um, sink into the background because um, I kind of, in my head, I got to the point where I was like, maybe if I hadn't done my hair and makeup every day and I hadn't made an effort every day, of maybe he hadn't had that attraction towards me, would it have happened? There is no law against creating explicit deepfake images and videos, but since January it has been illegal to share or distribute them. But because Sophie reported the images back in 2022, though police detained a man, no further action was taken. Before the law changed, she started a petition and went public about the abuse. Are you confident that he would have been caught by that law? No. <laughs> I don't think the new law is strong enough. We also tried to speak to one of the thousands of celebrities on the top sites. We contacted 40. All were unwilling to comment publicly. But in order to highlight the true impact of the abuse, I decided to watch a video the team discovered of me. The video has my name on it and an AI version of my face, but it's not my hair. Most of it is too explicit to show. It's graphic sexual activity. Okay, this is pretty disgusting now, just... This is just someone's fancy about basically having sex with me. And I know it's not me, I know it's not real, but it feels like a violation. It's done. So, I didn't... I'm glad I saw it because I want to know what, what is out there, but, um, you know, you can't unsee that. That's something that I'll keep returning to. Our investigation reveals that over the last three months, more than 70% of visitors to the top five deepfake porn sites were via search engines. Google told us they understand how distressing the images can be, and people can have pages that feature this content removed from search. They said they're developing additional safeguards, including tools to help people protect themselves. Meta told us it strictly prohibits services offering AI-generated, non-consensual nude images. X declined to comment. Critics say that's simply not good enough. Platforms are profiting off this kind of content, and not just porn companies, not just deepfake porn companies, um, social media sites as well. It pushes traffic to their site, it boosts advertising. I mean, there's lots of different ways, even having users on platforms that, you know, they may play a different role and they may buy products on their site, but they're still perpetrating abuse in another part of that role that they play on whatever social media site. They're profiting from that, and that shouldn't be acceptable. The new law was intended to limit the spread of deepfake porn. Under the Online Safety Act, regulation has been placed in the hands of broadcasting watchdog Ofcom, but consultation is still ongoing as to how the law will be enforced. Meanwhile, thousands of videos and images are being made and uploaded every day.